peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Motivation. How to get motivated when you're feeling depressed, worried, anxious, down and out. The world says you're finished. You say I'm not, but you're not sure. You're twisting and turning. And it's never a nice feeling when you feel you don't have anything to offer the world. When you feel the well has run dry. When you lose passion. When you lose focus. When you lose concentration. And even the value you put on your own creativity. I've had to deal with it along my journey. People ask, how do I stay motivated when I see what is going on all around me? It's not easy, but every day I wake up with a burning passion because I see what I have to offer is valuable. I've got a story for you. I was skating in Venice. I skate every day in Venice when I'm there. And there was the most amazing skater. He had an accident and he broke his arm. So he went to the hospital. He came back. His arm was in a cast. And he still got on his skateboard. But if you see the look in his eye was, hey, I am determined. His eyes showed his attitude. He wasn't playing around because he was so focused that this is not going to stop me. This is not going to get in the way of my dreams. And in him, I saw myself. I said, that's me because my mentality is if you fall down, you get up. And when we talk of staying motivated, it first starts with changing your mindset because we live in the world we are thinking of. And what's helped me is just to see how our attitude is affecting our blood chemistry. Is just to see how Every single thought we have is a child. What are we giving birth to every time we are thinking? Because thoughts have consequences. And thoughts being the language of the brain, feelings being the language of the heart. <laughs> I saw that. By me just changing my attitude, by surrendering to who I am, I felt inspired instantly. Because a lot of us, we're so hard on ourselves. We're searching for perfection. We're searching for the validation out there when it's all within us. And I don't get rid of negative thoughts. I embrace them. I neutralize them and I say that it's a choice I have every single day. We all have a choice. We all have the opportunity every single day to choose which direction we want to go. But in me changing my mindset, it all starts with the right attitude the right way about going around things. Because many times thoughts are things and whatever you focus on grows. So the more in the past I used to focus that I can't do this, it's difficult. And then I said, wait a minute, why is it difficult? Because it's a belief system. So in studying the mind and the power of the mind, you see that in staying motivated, it all starts there. 
And when we lose our mind and come to our senses, we begin to feel more. Now we have even more inspiration. Then it starts with, for me, surrounding myself with people who uplift my spirit every single day. I do that. I share quotes on Facebook. I counsel people every single day. I make sure I base my life around what I want to do forever. And it's not easy because I'm not afraid to take risks, to move out of my comfort zone. But I do this by reading information which is going to stimulate both of my brain hemispheres. I'm reading up on psychology, neuroscience, nutrition, because the more I do that, the more this motivates me. And I've seen the pattern because when I was younger, I was reading about the same things, but I didn't believe in myself. Because self-help, you could read all the self-help books in the world. I have. (laughs) Did it change my life? Not one bit. Did studying psychology and criminology help me? A little bit. But the real magic came by me going through my own personal experience. And that is the greatest motivation. When you go out into the world and you let go of fear, which is false evidence appearing real, now you are motivated because the fear is coming from our conditioning, is coming from our expectancy, is coming from the meaning we give to life. And I say, bring on the challenge. Because the more we test ourselves, the more we set ourselves a new challenge, we are motivated. A lot of times, we just want to play it safe. Because it's easy to stay in one corner doing the same thing. But I love to take that lunge, that leap of faith, and I expand. The more and more... I see that many of us are in a low vibration on the planet based around our separation, based around our perception of ourselves. And just by having this network around, it's helped me. That's why I love sharing and I will always share because the secret is Many people, they want to inspire the world. But you don't go about inspiring the world. You have to be the example. Change starts within us first before it reaches the world. My whole lifestyle is an example to myself of always pushing the envelope, aspiring to become the greatest version of yourself. It starts with not being afraid, more so letting go of what anybody thinks. And that's how I stay motivated. And then it's the small steps because life is very simple when you don't clutch onto it. And with small steps, I talk of concentrated focus in staying motivated. Doing what you love every single day, even if it's just for five minutes, that keeps me motivated. And the small steps also goes back to not being so hard on ourselves, seeing what we have done with what we have. And clapping for ourselves and seeing the bigger picture all the time, I see that I am not just helping my own life. 
I am helping to inspire other people. How do I know this? From the feedback I receive. I'm not concerned with how many subscribers I have on YouTube because I've been doing this for years. And after a while you do it, anyone who has been doing it for a long time will tell you the novelty wears off. <laughs> I'm doing it for the people who have wrote to me that this has changed their life. And that's why it feels amazing. Because the small steps is about seeing that life could be so much more if we just allowed it to be. Many of us, we're always striving. We're always rushing. We're always never satisfied. And for me, right now, it's about simplifying life. It's about making it easier because when we can do less and feel more, great things happen. It's not easy because life moves is so fast. It's fast and furious. But I realize that it's all based on our perception. It's all based on how we see the world. So in staying motivated, I change my perspective. And then it goes on to loving yourself 100% and trusting yourself. Trusting yourself is the hardest thing to do. But it's hard when you first start. The more you do it, you develop greater trust. Confidence means to trust. And what I've found along my journey, what allows me to love myself is by jumping in the cold water. That's the only way to push yourself. That's the only way to start believing in yourself to the point where you reach the stage of knowing. And in raising the frequency, we trust ourselves by not always following the crowd. I haven't done and it's paid off because every day I am living in more abundance. I am so grateful for the life I'm living, but that can only happen with a deep trust. And then in staying motivated, for me, it's all about having fun. And having fun is about the lifestyle I live and letting go of meat and dairy change my life forever because it was a lifestyle change but more so because I've been doing this for such a long time over eight years changing my diet I've seen the results I have so much energy more so I have more clarity and this motivates me to see that I have the strength to continue to do this even when you're being invited to places and they're serving other food, but you stick with your true knowing. That's how to stay motivated. Because life is not going to get any easier. We just get better at riding the wave. And I don't take life so seriously because I see that we are all here learning from the school of life. Nature is the great teacher. And therefore, people ask, how can I be more spiritual? <laughs> Spirituality is what you are. It's not something that you practice. And exercising for me helps moving into your body, whether it's through physical fitness, for me, it's skating and yoga. All of this helps me stay motivated because I'm all about moving into the body 100%. And the whole of life is a great adventure. That's how I see it. And I am inspired 
by seeing what other people are doing. And I respect their uniqueness, their authenticity. Because when we are attempting to be like someone else, we lose motivation. And I see that I am not in competition with anybody. But as long as I am here, which is forever because I'm immortal, I will be exploring my unique expression. And that means having more fun. It means never hurting yourself. Not hurting yourself is by removing negative self-talk, by letting go of all of these preconceived ideas we have about the world. It's about letting go of who we think we are to become who we are. Motivation, <laughs> you can't buy it in a shop. And what I found is that the only way to get motivated every single day is to develop a routine that serves you. And my routine is very simple. It's about elevation and it's about always looking for even more solutions because certain people say, I feel depressed about life. But then you don't look at your life situation. Who is the architect of your reality? It's not just you. It's the environment. It's your friends. It's your family. And then when you see that the power has been with you all along, then we get even more motivation because nobody is holding us back but ourselves. And I love momentum. And I say the secret of consistency is not resting on your laurels. You don't want to get comfortable with anything you create. You want to keep it moving. That's what I tell myself and that motivates me because there is so much to explore. There's countries I still have to go to. I've been to so many different countries, but what motivates me is seeing the contrast of life. To see that not all of us are supposed to be doing the same thing. And that's okay because everyone came to earth to learn a different lesson. But I know why I came here because I know thyself. When you know who you are, then you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. The whole ground is going to start shaking when you start moving because knowledge of self is powerful. And then wisdom is the applied knowledge. And now you become unstoppable because there is a lot of distractions, deception, but it's all there to help us evolve. <laughs> and that's why I'm not in resistance to it. I focus on promoting what I love instead of attacking what I hate. And that motivates me. I am motivated by seeing children coming into the world so innocent. But we have to ask ourselves, why does this change? We have to ask ourselves, why do people end up hating themselves? And then we see it goes back to our belief systems. Then we have to ask ourselves, where do we get our belief systems from? And I am motivated by not just what I'm doing every single day, <laughs> but what every other life form is doing every single day. Because as humanity, many of us have adopted a certain arrogance to see that we are the only species on the planet. 
but we are sharing this marvelous earth with other life forms on the planet. So we have to respect mother nature. That's what motivates me to see people who are caring for the world, more so who make this their whole lifestyle. That's what I've done. That's why it's always a pleasure. It's always an honor. There's always a smile on my face. I'm always laughing with myself because I'm so grateful I have this level of awareness. And it's always growing, it's forever changing. But I'm getting stronger and stronger every single day. The more I realize that we came here to be free, the more I find peace within myself because we are the only species that has to pay to live, but we're supposed to be the most intelligent. We have to ask ourselves, where did we go wrong? Did we even go wrong? But when you are aware of all the questions, like I am, this motivates me. That's why I can continue sharing because there is so much which is unfolding every single day. But many people right now on the planet are beginning to see beyond the veil. They are beginning to see the smoke and mirrors. They are beginning to see that life is not what it seems. And this motivates me to connect with these kinds of people because we are kindred spirits. We lose our fears by moving into our fears and becoming them until they are no longer our fears. <laughs> I see that when I am feeling not so inspired, which doesn't happen a lot, but on a rare day, I'm okay with that because I'm not a robot. I hope not. <laughs> a lot of us, we put so much on our plate. We expect so much from ourselves when we are enough. And there are cycles, there are seasons in the universe. And that's what I realized that you have high tide, you have low tide. But I am all about promoting and inspiring the next generation because everything I've done is tiny compared to what people will do after me in terms of helping humanity raise the frequency. But it all starts with us because the motivation can only come from us. Nobody can motivate us without us already being motivated ourselves. And this message I share is for whoever is resonating on that frequency. And it's beautiful because the more you produce, the more you create, what other people think does not hold any weight. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen the secret because I create a lot of material. And I've seen the trends and afterwards it all goes back to why are you doing this? And then you see it's for your own expression. And when you start creating for your own expression, then you get more meaning as opposed to just creating to get people's response. Do it for, do it for yourself and do it from the heart. That is how to stay motivated. Ask yourself, why did I come to planet Earth? And what is my higher purpose? Know thyself. We're here, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.